Hello and welcome to Infinity. Groups are a useful way of collecting a number of layers together um, for just for being tidy and sometimes specific purposes. So let's have a look at this. And start off, I'm just going to make sure with the assistant manager up here that when I add an adjustment layer to a selection here, I'm got add adjustment as new layer, not as child layer, which is the default. Now, when I add a layer here, it'll appear above here. But first of all, let's make a couple of layers in which to play around with. So we'll go to the selection brush. Let's make that a bit big with the right square bracket. And we'll just paint around here. Oops, that's too big. Let's start again. I went too fast then. If you go fast, it goes to larger areas. There you go, that's nearly there. So I'm going to left square bracket to reduce the size of the brush a bit. Hold down Alt and paint back here to put the sky back. And tidy up that down there. And there's a, maybe a bit in here, that'll do. Then I will hit Refine and bring this up. <coughs> here we go. And I'll just paint over those areas there. to get the sky back through there and apply that. So we now selected the sky. So I will just go control C, control V, and that pastes in a new layer here of just the sky. And I'll hit control D as well to get rid of the marching ants. So if I turn off the bottom layer, you can see, there we go, we've got the sky. And we can treat that a little bit separately. So let's start off, we'll turn off the top layer, so we're just looking at the bottom. And we'll then, let's do a couple of things to this. So let's select the bottom layer and go here and play with the levels. And classic thing to do here, we just bring up the black to touch the bottom and the white to touch the top so that we've got a full range from black to white. Then if I click on the background here and say let's put in a curves layer. Oh, actually let's drag it on top there, there we go. And here we'll uh, let's brighten up. We want the building brighter don't we? So it's because it's in the shade. Like that and maybe Maybe the darks we need to hold down a bit. And whatever. So they are, that's a bit better. That's brightened up the front of that, hasn't it? So there we go. Now let's go to the sky. So this is another layer on top here. And let's put uh, curves on that to darken it up. Let's bring the curves. I just pull this down. And that darkens the sky up uh, fairly well. Although what's happened is the front of this has darkened up again. And that's because this layer here applies to everything below it. So I want it only to apply to the background here. So, there we go, that's put that on. That's even better there, isn't it? There we go. So I'll click on that and hold down Shift and Click the background. There we go. We've now got the curves on the the, the sky layer uh, are both selected. So I can turn this into a group and I can go up to arrange and group here. Or I can hit right click here, go down to group here or hit control G. When I do that, there are, it's brought those up there to the, be uh, the sky. I can click on that, rename that to Sky. And just for tidiness, I don't need to do it in this case, but I'll just select those down here, which is the curves, levels and the, the foreground. And I'll just do a Control G, turn that into a group. Then click on that and we'll call that foreground. Which for reading these layers is a lot easier when you've got these just 
things here. This is the sky and everything to do with the sky is here. And this is the foreground and everything to do with the foreground is here. So we can just open up the bit that we want to use. It's much neater. What you do have as well is a, um, it, because it's a group is a separate layer like this and there's the things it contains, you can put a different blend mode on from here. We won't go into that here, but it's easy enough to do. So there we go. Groups. Very useful, very handy, makes things neat. And let's change blend mode. Thank you very much for watching.